We're here in Munich at GTC Europe for 2017. It's been a really exciting event for us. And on the automotive side, we've had many new announcements. First is our DrivePX Pegasus. This is the world's first AI car computer for robo-taxis, fully self-driving, level five autonomous vehicles. This product delivers 320 trillion operations per second and a massive amount of compute that's designed to drive these vehicles. As you plug in many sensors, the cameras, the radar, the LiDAR, they all feed into DrivePX today, and DrivePX Pegasus, coming next year, will enable fully autonomous vehicles. On the show floor, we're showing a variety of really cool cars, all powered by NVIDIA Drive technology. From our own BB-8, our research vehicle, laden with sensors, to production cars like the Tesla Model X that has DrivePX as the autopilot that's on the market today. We're also showing Audi's new A8. It's a level three car. It's the world's first partially autonomous car that you can take your hands off the wheel, not touch the pedals, and have it drive itself on the highway. We're also looking into the future. We have some really cool cars. Behind me is the RoboCar from RoboRace. Using DrivePX, these autonomous race cars ultimately will achieve speeds of up to 300 kilometers an hour. And finally, from Mercedes, a concept car showing what the cabin of the future could be with a lot of screens all driven by NVIDIA. Expect more details from Mercedes coming soon on production vehicles with NVIDIA inside. We also announced a partnership with Deutsche Post DHL, the world's largest mail and package delivery service, and ZF, one of our existing partners, to bring autonomous delivery trucks to market. A test fleet starts next year. These vehicles will be able to drive and park themselves and be summoned by the delivery person, improving efficiency by up to 30% of the delivery teams. We're also featuring Virtual Vehicle, who's developed self-driving technology based on DrivePX, and have some Formula Student Germany teams, students that are developing autonomous race cars. In the keynote, not only did we announce the new DrivePX Pegasus, but talked about all the software NVIDIA is developing for car companies, startups, truck makers, and tier ones to develop their applications on top. So we have our Drive OS software, our DriveWorks modules, and Drive AV, our autonomous vehicle software. But then we also introduced Drive IX for intelligent experience. This is able to take sensor input from outside the car, sensor input from inside the car, and deliver personalized experiences, deliver guardian feature and co-pilot technologies to make the car of the future a reality. In addition, we talked about our simulation and re-simulation capabilities. To test an autonomous vehicle, we have to make sure it can drive on all roads. So we're collecting data on roads all over the world. NVIDIA has a fleet of 20 test cars today, and that's growing. But working with partners in their test fleets, we're able to get data and test new algorithms. In fact, though, we can simulate driving on roads to enhance real driven miles. The simulation process, though, runs on our DGX systems. And on an eight processor system, we're able to simulate 300,000 miles in just five hours. That enables us actually to simulate every road that's paved in the United States in just two days. So this is going to be a critical aspect of bringing driverless technology to the market and ensure its safety. We can test first in the data center before we put it into the vehicle. We've had a great event here in the European Auto Capital here in Munich, and we can't wait to come back and show you what's new next year.